You're going to stand up just like I am. Left hand on the left rail, right hand on the right rail. The assignment was to photograph the painters on the George Washington Bridge. As Port Authority Painting Supervisor Kevin McSweeney demonstrated how we would be walking out on one of the main cables to meet up with the workers, I realized that the we included me. Well, we're painting the main span cables. These cables go from the New Jersey, New York Tower to the New Jersey Tower, and they hold up the whole way to the bridge. You can see this Earlier at the administration building, he explained today's job. He also told us how the cables are actually made up of thousands of smaller strands that, if uncoiled, would reach around the equator, that there are nine million square feet of paintable surface on the bridge, and that it takes one and a half years to paint it all. On the ride over to the bridge, fellow painter Todd Whitehill explained what it's like to be out on the cables. When you're out there working, it's like reading a book. Really? And you know how you, you read a book and you lose track of time? Well, you're out there, you're doing your work, and you're not conscious, you know, to, to some people the heights are daunting. Mm -hmm. You know, the trick is not to overthink it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a safety harness that goes around your torso, and from your torso we're going to be hooked on to the, to the uh, handrail cable. Shall we? Yeah. Up about 400 feet, a little over 400 feet. And then the top of the bridge is 635 feet. At the top, Todd showed us one of the tests for becoming a bridge painter. Stuff you can't be trained to do. <laughs> what does that feel like out there? Um, I don't know. I'm just worried about the beam. I'm not looking down. I'm looking ahead of myself when I walk. But most people who fail can't get past the handrail. The time had come to get the harnesses ready and head out onto the cable. With Kevin guiding, I put one foot in front of the other and held onto those handrails for dear life. Uh, never complacent, boy. You just realize you're working at this level today. This is this, this the area you're working in. It's just where we're at, you know. It's a close-knit group. There's 14 guys up in our shop, and most of us have been together more than 20 years. A lot of birthdays, a lot of weddings, a lot of communions. I've been here for uh, 23 years now. What do you like about it? The heights? I like the heights. I'm an adrenaline junkie, so just about everything I do is put together with adrenaline. Uh, we can get tie knots on this job like a Boy Scout. You have to do an eye splice, you have to do a double double sheet bend, scaffold hitch, just for the, the, the part of lowering that rig down. But, you know, out here the Boy Scout stuff saves your life. Yeah, once you pay here, everything else is easy. <laughs> After an hour on the cable, I was ready to get back on solid ground. But these guys are out there 52 weeks a year, maintaining the bridge for 102 million vehicles annually. So what does that feel like, no big deal for you? Nah, it's a day at the office. That's what we do.